Hello, how are you? My name is Barbara and today we are going to make another recycle project. This time we're going to make it out of uh, lids and I am going to show you what we're going to make. We're going to make this little guy here. Okay, and how you put the holes in it is you heat up a, a large needle or something sharp that you may have, maybe an ice pick, something. I, I would use a large needle this way. Uh, the pipe cleaner that you put in there won't it won't be all sloppy it'll be kind of snug so what you do is you heat up the the needle just heat it up it takes a second to heat up it's better if you get it like like red and then it'll go right through okay then you just go right through just like that see and the hole is through. Okay, so that's what you need the needle for. You'll need some wobbly eyes, pipe cleaners, any color you want, acrylic paint, okay, and what you do is you paint them. You, you paint these, uh, and you'll probably need uh, two or three coats. And you just paint them, and then after they're painted, you uh, you just let them dry and then wait for the second coat. So it, it takes a little bit longer than what it's going to take me here because I've already got them painted. So what we'll do is, uh, okay, we don't need that anymore. And this, I'll just leave it on and watch it so that it doesn't burn. Always be careful with fire. And blow a candle out whenever uh, you leave a room. There we go. I'll do it so that I remember. Okay, what you do is with the holes, you've already got them in there, so you just beat it along at the end. You uh, put like a little loop at the end so that the the cap doesn't go all the way through. So you find the holes and you just beat it through, just like a bead. Just beat it through. You're gonna do. You're gonna use seven seven uh, tops. So and just beat them in like you would a a necklace or something. Just keep on beating. On the last two, you actually don't need holes in them uh, because that's gonna be the head uh, of the caterpillar. So. Keep beating it along. Try to get the the holes as straight as you can. Just like that. You beat it. Here's the last one. I said you use five for the body. If you want to make it longer, that's up to you. Uh, you can you can make it longer. I chose to use five because it was easy and seven because it was easy and quick so you just push these through like that they're already painted and they're not wet so this one you have to make a, like a butterfly so that you can uh, glue it onto the head on the caps and then just like that this is going to go inside so these two you're going to glue together like that. But you're going to put a little bit of glue here and glue it like that. And then let it dry for a second. So we'll put the glue on both sides. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Be careful not to burn yourself. It's always hot. So just put that in there like that. You're going to squish it together so it's not going to make a whole heck of a difference. Okay, what happened here? Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more glue in here. I lost where the glue was. Just a little bit. It takes a second for it to dry. So just be patient. Let it dry. It just takes a minute. Flip these guys over. Okay, looks like it's dry. 
So you're going to glue the two little lids together like this. Like what? So put a little bit of glue. Oh, no, that one just didn't want to stick. Let's see. Sorry it's taking for a minute. Sometimes it doesn't go as smoothly as you want it. Just start over. Just let it dry. That's the important part is letting it dry. You can make them any color you want. Yellow, green, blue. I chose uh, blue. So, okay. Still hot. Okay. Okay. What you do is you put a little bit of glue around the edges so that it sticks together. together. Just let it dry. The main part is we letting it dry. If you try to rush the issue, it's just it, it's just not going to work. Take your time. Oops, there it goes. It's not dry and I pushed the issue. So I'll just let it dry and give it a second. Meanwhile, you can get the eyes ready. You can put the eyes now or afterwards. I'm going to go ahead with the luck I've been having. I'm going to put them on afterwards, but I'll get them ready. So, the glue sticks in between your nails. Okay. So now you're ready to bend. Just bend it up like that. Up on that. Just like that. And then the other one. You just give it some room and you bend it up. Just like a zigzag. The next one, you put it on the bottom. Just put it about half an inch, I guess, like that. You just bend them up. And this other one, put them on top so that it goes like that, like, like the caterpillars do. There we go, just like that. Okay, and here's the end. Okay. So we're going to put the end is on the bottom. And like I said, however long you want it, you could put more than five, you could put ten if you want. You can make a great big long one if you wish. Uh, it's up to you. And he's a little short guy. So we'll keep him short. There he is. There's your little caterpillar. Okay. Just glue the eyes and he'll be complete. A dab of glue will work. There's one. Just a little dab. You don't need a, a whole bunch. I said it's real sensitive. If you put a whole bunch in it, I think it'll just melt. There you go. Ooh, this was still. Got all kinds of strings. That's okay. There is one, and there is the other. Quick little project. Recycle some things you just throw away and uh, give it another life. And the kids can make it, or or you can make it, or maybe come up with a, a different idea. It's kind of flexible. You can put it the way you want to. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back and visit.